Hi, it's Maxine Kay with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living, bringing you a love note. Well, Bo Smith and I just completed teaching a 10-week class tonight on Zoom on the Essential Earnest Homes, a marvelous class. And it would be worth just picking up the book to read it if you would care to, because you'd gain so much from it. It was stimulating, it was connective, it was profoundly deep and fun and delicious. Good material and beautiful people willing to open their hearts and their minds and to share uh, everything that, that helped them to grow through these 10 weeks. And you know, it felt a little sad as we completed it tonight and shared our, our thoughts and our hearts with each other and yet Things do come to an end, and then there's always another beginning, because next week, Bo is going to be teaching a four-week class, and so that's a beginning. This is the end of this particular portion, and there's another beginning. There will always be a completion, whether it's a class or a project, um, whatever it is, we complete what we begin and then we begin something new. And that's the cycle of life that is so beautiful. And when we resist and try to hold on to the way things were and feel sad about things oh, not being the way they were in the old days, <laughs> we are preventing ourselves from moving forward into beautiful new experiences all the time. See, God is new always and goes forth into newness through the creative intelligent process that the divine mind uses and that we use as well. So let's give thanks for every experience, every project, every book we read, every, every play that we see, every course that we take, and, and find that something beautiful has not only occurred and not only have we learned something new, but we are more than we were before. We become the sum total of all the beautiful experiences and the learning and the sharing that we engage in. And so it adds to us. But then we say, thank you, next. <laughs> we go on to what we are being called to experience in the next moment, in the next week, in the next year, always having something to look forward to. So cycles of life are beautiful. Enjoy them, starting with this moment right now. Love you very much. Look forward to hearing from Reverend Mike tomorrow, I know. Have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your day or your evening, whenever you're seeing this. You're important to us. God bless.